a group in SVG is an SVG element, but it's basically used to contain other SVG elements. So it does have an opening and a closing tag. And so I usually stack the closing tag underneath the opening tag. And then you can put any number of elements inside the group. And groups are really useful for transforming a number of different objects at the same time. So let's put a circle in here. And let's just, uh, we'll just give it a radius of, well, let me try 30. And we'll give it a fill. And stroke. And we will transform the group that's holding the circle. So we put a transform attribute here and we'll translate to the middle so notice that if I had just put the circle here without putting it inside the group it would have been plotted here because I didn't give it a CX and a CY so it, it automatically assumes that CX and CY are zero. So it's, it's relative then to the group that contains it. And that can be kind of nice when you're building things. All right, so basically, it's this, doing this is like changing the origin to the middle, in this case, 300, 150. And then you can just plot the circle there and give it coordinates of zero zero let's keep going with this and uh, let's let's see if we can draw a barbell okay so um, what I, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the this circle this way so then I can now give it a fixed X uh, let's go with a hundred maybe and a fixed Y and I'm going to keep that at zero. So that just moves it straight over because remember, it's like it was at zero, zero. So I'm just moving it an additional 100 pixels in the X direction and nothing in the Y. Now, if I want to put the other part of the barbell over here, I can just copy this. And I can go, just go out in the other direction, negative 100. Because basically the origin is right here because I've transformed this group or translated it to here. Okay. And then I could maybe put a line there. So the line needs two points. So we get x1, y1, x2, y2, I'm going to stroke here. So I just have to match the coordinates of the circles. So I can go negative 100 here and 0 here. And I can go positive 100 here and 0 here. And we get the bar. And so I think using groups can make plotting things a lot easier. All right? Because you don't have to transform every single piece of your picture. Now one thing I don't like about this is that this is on top of the circles. It would be nice if it was behind and you can do that by taking it and putting it first. So if I put the line there first, let's organize this a little bit, clean it up. 
Okay. Okay, there we go. So here's the group, a line and two circles. And when I enter the code, the line slips behind the circles because it was drawn first. So anyway, that's, uh, that is the use of a group. Let's do one more video and we'll rotate the barbells, okay?